Uh, so according to what's you, God three you, persons? According to you, first of all, let's understand your belief. Let's understand the belief of Jesus Christ. What is the same of the? What's the same? Yeah. According to you, one true God is how many persons? One God, three persons. One true God is how many persons? Three persons. Three persons, and they are. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Right? So we got your definition. That's one true God. Yeah. According to Jesus, how many persons is the one true God? The exact same. Three how persons. Many? Three, Three persons. persons. Okay, find me a verse in the entirety of the Bible, old and new, where Jesus Christ or anyone categorically identifies or defines that one true God is three persons. So, so Jesus defines himself as God. You write that. My question: You're committing a stormer. Where no, no. do you find well, that verse? Well, right, so can I clarify? The reason why you're asking that is because you're treating the Bible like a textbook. We would all say we have to hold the entire Bible together. That's what I'm saying. In no, no, Bible. no, you're not. You're Do saying, give me a verse. The Bible. From where? So the Bible is there is no. It is not the okay. Trinity. Give me. Let, let him finish. You have to let him finish. Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Give me 100 verses if you want, in which it defines and identifies the one true God according to God Himself or Jesus. Okay. Only these two people. Okay. I'll give you three. Yes, yes, no, no, I'll questions. give you three. Yeah. So in Isaiah 6, Isaiah stands before the Lord of glory sat on the throne and he is called Yahweh. The apostle. So we have to let me finish. Open up the Bible. No, no. Let me finish. Open up. Let me finish. No, no. Open up. As you speak, open up. Uh, yo. What we want to see is this: a categorical statement without any ambiguity. No, no, no. Wait, wait, no. wait. Hey. We don't. We don't. You're setting the, you're setting the terms of this to set. We don't want to see a verse in which it says banana and then you interpret to mean human being. Right, so, no, 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 right. so what I'm going to do is I am going to demonstrate to you. You're going what, to get no, me a text so, which is clear right. without requiring Please, explanation. Can you, you say to me, give a hundred verses? Sorry, yes, sorry. sorry. without requiring any explanation other than the hundred verses. Excuse me, let me, right, you're going to have to let me say a whole... Do you hear what I said? You're going to have to let me, listen, let him speak. No, 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 you're no, not, no, you're no, not, no, you're no, not, no, you're no, not, you're not, but did you're not having an honest conversation if you're not going to speak. Wait, you can have... 100 verses at your disposal, but without any explanation necessary outside 100 verses. That's okay, but right. with the text. You need, to, you need to give me enough time. I'm going to say, oh, right. I am going to demonstrate you to you. Categorical the, the verses. Reason I am say you can only read the verse in no, no explanation. No, because that's not. That's the Bible not. tells us that we have apostles and preachers to bring no up the verse. No, the Bible I mean, tells us. I mean, John one's clear enough about explanation. There. Yeah, there, 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 there are plenty you can choose. Verses. Yeah, yeah. I'm still great. Uh, yeah, I can give you plenty. No, Don't I'm worry. Calm down. No. Right. So, the reason I'm a Trinitarian is because, first of all, this is... No, he's going to shut you out. Right, so what you've got to do in this conversation is you have to listen to what I say. If you don't... If it's relevant. It is relevant. You need to let him speak. He has the relevant verses. Okay. You know, if it's relevant to his answer. Okay, so you have to let me finish. I'm going to make this clear to you. If you butt into me halfway through, I'm going to show you you don't want to engage. So let me finish my argument. And then I'll tell you, uh, you, don't, you and me don't get to determine that this is relevant. So, okay, in Isaiah 6, we're told, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him stood the seraphim, each had six wings, with two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. Right. Who is this talking about? I'm listening. Listen, I, I'm, I'm answering, I'm listening. This is talking about the law. Right? We all agree. Okay. okay. Now, in John, in this passage. What verse was you So we're in Isaiah 6. Now in Isaiah 6, 8, from verse 8, it says, And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go and say to this people, can you get John 12 up? Keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. Make the heart of this people dull, and their ears heavy, and blind their eyes, lest they see with their heart, lest they see with their eyes, hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. 
Now, why am I reading this passage? I don't want an explanation. I need to explain. I, no, I, I don't need an explanation. Okay, okay. So, so, read, read it. Uh, John. The, okay, so you let him finish. No, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. So this had nothing. John, John, yes, well, here, yeah. Verse, verse 37. Day of Jesus. Day of Jesus. Which verse? 37. So we're in John 12. John 12. John 12. You got a Bible, don't you? Do. Acts 28. Yeah. I don't know. If you, I don't know if you know where I'm going with this, but it's applied like to all three persons. Say that the words spoken by the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Lord, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, lest they see with their eyes and understand with their heart and turn, and I would heal them. Isaiah said these things because he saw his glory, that's Jesus' glory, and spoke of him, Jesus. And then, okay, so, no. so, so, so the verse, no, 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 listen, no explanation necessary. So, again, well, I'm not finished. That's no, 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 sorry. It doesn't identify who the person no, no. of the one true God is. Not. Nothing, carry on. I'm Next. not finished. First of all, we have Yahweh in the Old Testament, which is always the Father. Now we have Jesus. It gets better, though. Because you have proven nothing. Come no, on. it gets bad because first of all, this is applied to the Father. Now it's applied to the Son. And then in Acts 28, if you... 28, uh, read from verse 25 for us. So for Acts 28 from verse 25. Uh -huh. They disagreed among themselves and began to leave after Paul had made his final statement. The Holy Spirit spoke the truth to your ancestors when he said through Isaiah the prophet, Go to this people and say, you will... You will be ever hearing but never understanding. You will be ever seeing but never perceiving. For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears and they've closed their eyes. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts and turn and I would heal them. And stop. Wait, 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 stop, stop. Stop. Next In this verse, Acts 28, 25 onwards, we did not hear any categorical and ambiguous we did. Wait, let me finish. statement in which it identifies the persons of one true God. It does. Sorry, no, no, stop. stop. Why does it say who the true God is? The Holy Spirit is the God. No, no. Why does it say true God and what does it say who the person is? True God. So the, can I have so a, the Bible can I, can I you? God one true, true God, God. use of three persons. No, no, we, show persons. You. we just show you. No, no, no. What you've done. It doesn't show anything about the persons within the one true God. No, do you not understand? Like, wait, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. You're being deliberately deceitful. We have shown you that this part. So listen, listen. Me. The Bible uses our prophecy from Isaiah to, sh to speak of both the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. That is God speaking, and the Bible attri attributes it to all three. So how can you say? Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. How can you say that is not the one tree God in three persons? How can you say you, that? I you, first right. I have not seen here in any of these verses God speaking and identifying okay, this. stop, stop. Let me finish. God speaking and, or Jesus speaking. I don't know. So no, 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 no. you're and lying about the text. And identifying who the person to John 12. within the one tree God is. Now, I'm going to ask you to read John Stop. 17. No, no, no. Stop no, John you're changing the no. topic. You, you're lying. You've been caught in a lie and you're running away. Your rhetoric is not going to help. Okay. Okay. Right. Stop. 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 Not to engage with him. It's unhelpful. Okay. We've been told not to engage with him. Yeah. No, no. I will. I will not engage with him. Yeah. We've been told not to engage with him. He's smoothly not. Uh, good feedback. Unhelpful. It's unhelpful. It's unhelpful. We've been told. No, no, no. Let me edit it. We're just just say thank you. I'm moving. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes, sir, if he tries to change it, <laughs> he's not listening to us. He's not having an honest conversation. No, no, no. But we 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 showed him from. No, 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 no. We showed him the one text which God's words speaking from Father, Son, and Spirit. And he completely ignored what we said. And he doesn't want. And he, 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 he didn't expect. He did, he did, he did, no, no, he's, no, no, no. Well, you're not. You're not on his program. I listen, brother. You doesn't show. Brother, you doesn't show anything. I, we, we showed him an explicit text, no, he and he doesn't show you what he has. It is. No, he doesn't. He doesn't show us see here. No, you've not. He still is the best guy. Hello. Hey. Hey, bro. You're well. You're good. Yeah, yeah. I was excited. I had that Northern Irish accent. Yeah. yeah. 
I've been here all day. Bro, bro, you I, know. Bad. I know. I know. Someone asked me on me. I was speaking. Wait, what? Yeah. What's your first time here? Oh, I've been here, man. I was talking to a guy for an hour and a half. Okay. Good conversation, but he didn't want to meet up for a Bible study. So, what happened there? Well, give, 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 give a conclusion because they, 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 what they're basically saying is that you run away from the debate. So can you give some clarification? He, he, he wasn't it? being he, he, he wasn't being a good faith actor um, essentially because he well he wanted he wanted a text that showed that the true God was Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We went to Isaiah six, which is used to apply to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in New Testament, and he completely ignored it. So he doesn't want to have a conversation in the slightest. Um, yeah, he wasn't listening. Yeah, to anything we were don't saying. don't throw your uh, pearls before swine. So, yeah. Okay, okay. It, it, it like, seemed like a worthless. So what was the main point that you fit, uh, that you failed to maybe put across to him? Because well, he wasn't listening. No, well, as, so Isaiah six is used in it's Yahweh in Isaiah six speaks of the Father, uh, a prophecy of the Father, which is repeated in John chapter twelve, spoken of Jesus, which is then also repeated in Acts. Um, at the 28. end of the book of Acts 28 to speak of the Holy Spirit. So here we have the same prophecy of the Lord of glory applied to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. One God, three persons. Okay, so do you feel that he was uh, following his script as opposed to engaging uh, in the conversation? Oh, of course. Yeah, okay, of course. I think so. Well, the, the prophecy itself talks of um, people's hearts being hardened so that they won't, they won't turn yeah, and see it or listen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, here is the, the, this is the prophecy that we read. It right. said, the Lord sends Isaiah and says, keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. That's what is happening in this conversation. So the Father, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are speaking, but clo closing the hearts so, so that they hear, but don't perceive. Brother, do you have any, any ministries that you like to promote to the whole family? Obviously, they're going to be... Thousands of people watching you. you are, we're both if you'd like to promote, we're both students at Oak Hill College in, yeah, yeah. in North London, okay. uh, studying theology there. Nice. So worth, worth endeavour to study God's word. So if you're considering it, go to Oak Hill College. <laughs> uh, excellent. Well, brothers, thank you for coming to Speakers Corner. Hope to see you again next week, Lord willing, and uh, stay blessed and keep on uh, staying in the in the narrow path and strong in the faith. Yeah. Bless you. God bless. Ah, God bless you. Take it.